Hi, it's Lori and I work as a psychic and a medium. We're all psychic and we're all medium, empathic, etc. It's really about just checking into it, realizing that we are, that we're energy and we're connected. We have a big personal space. We have instincts that we can expand on. Through that, the physics can come in and we can communicate with our friends and spirit world. Somehow, we can train online, we can go to classes, we can do really cool things now. So our world, our civilization is progressing in a way of acceptance. So we hope that keeps going, and I say we, which means our spirit friends who connect to me. So what I'm doing mainly on these videos are speculations. And speculations to me are I hear things I speculate on history of it or occurrences, what happened, and I try to validate it through research. Or I put it out as a theory, a story that I'm hearing. And I feel it strong, I believe it, I trust it because I get a lot of validation and evidential from my other work. As a psychic advisor and animal communicator, I also read auras and energy patterns. So I've practiced and practiced over the last four or five years, and I've actually had this going on off and on throughout my life. But it really doesn't matter. If it hasn't happened throughout your life, it's okay. You still have it. It's just about starting, and you'll be amazed what you can get. So speculation to me is really about building a story and asking spirit for help. So what would I speculate about? For me, I look at the whole civilization and my place in it. So I was born in an era of steel industry. Why was I born in an era of steel industry? And where mom stayed home, there was a strong economy and single family homes. Why did civilization bring me to this point. This is where I landed in life. And that life affected my opportunities, okay? My mom at that time had to work as a secretary. She would have liked to be more professional, but that wasn't gonna happen for her. So it was high heels, hairspray, perfume, and lots of makeup, and low pay. My dad could work as an engineer. And he got boosted as an engineer, good, good lad. And he could work with all men and they would be the breadwinners. And the woman would have dinner on the table. They could work too, if allowed, definitely less pay. Why? What happened in our civilization to make this the rule? We're all human beings, we're all spirit, and unless we're disconnected because of abuse or fear, we're all spiritual. We have instincts and we can get guidance from our friends and spirit world. What's going on here? Is this correct? Is this the right way to live? And they say, no, there's a reason why you can't take it with you. It's because you're not supposed to have money or inequality. Girls are girls, boys are boys. That's it. You can all work. You can all be brilliant. You don't even need money. You just need your resources, your brilliance. You need solar and education and healthcare and safety and food. Energy, energy, energy. Use fossil fuels if you need to, but go for solar because it's about longevity. And flying high is as human beings in this crazy life experience that we come to. We are a creation, we're a human, and we're on earth. But our souls live on, life eternal, and I hear our souls are old souls. So we are on a path of weird life, of abuse, of war, of violence. Can you imagine if we were warlike where we could have taken that technology instead of bombs and uh, bullets and guns and cannons, etc., 
we would have been putting into schools and healthcare and more studies and probably um, hydrocraft that just floated on top of the water. Who knows? I mean, we could have done all this different things. We set up satellites years ago. We'd all have good medical and we'd really be in balance. There wouldn't be a need for money because we don't have resources. You need this? I got it. Let's give it to you. That's what I hear from Spirit World is I ask. I said, well, where'd this all start? Well, this is a great accident. We are vulnerable in the human body. And if we become hurt, our brains can become hurt too. If things go off, we can become aggressive. If aggression takes over a population, it is hard to get out of. And it's confusing to get out of. If some people rise in aggression, a hierarchy can establish. We are weird beings, you know. We can create kings and czars and presidents when we don't even need them. We can create towers of finance when we don't need them. We have such an odd world here that we landed in, we were born into, and we are confused about, yet there's so many fun things and comfortable things, we kind of enjoy some of it now, or we're trapped by it because we have to work to have our health benefits, to pay for our house, to pay for everything. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? Instead of brilliance, you know, instead of studying and create, well, instead of being stressed, I created all sorts of cool things for society and all sorts of great medical options. And there's billions of us on this planet. So can you imagine if we were saved? Safe, if the people that are hurt and aggressive were kept in safe jail, if they committed crimes, that were violent and they were still dangerous, that's forever. We still let people out who are rapists or pedophiles. Well, they should never be out again. They could go home to heaven and say, my God, was, why wasn't I kept in jail? So I didn't hurt anyone else. I was such a chaotic kid because I was so abused. I wasn't born that way. That is the history if you ask. If, if you work on your speculative mediumship or psychic, you may ask, how did this happen? Yes or no, were you born this way? Yes or no, were you abused? Yes or no, should this be this way? So that's speculation. And I hope that we keep practicing it to study our history, to see where there's gaps in history, where we're still doing things to people in populations to hurt their minds, to take away their safety, to take away their health, to take away their brilliance, and to put in aggression. And it can happen from apartment buildings to villages, neighborhoods, wealth, fame. Why do we raise fame that's aggressive? You probably heard me, or you will hear Stories about through Chris Cornell, Chester Bennington, Scott Weiland, and there'll be more who were said to have suicide, that deemed suicides or death were deemed suicides. And all I hear is murder, 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 clan cover up. Why? And we watch movies where clans were in control of towns or mobs or mafias, where businesses used to have to pay. They have to pay to be safe. So the mob controlled them, drug controlled them, or they would lose their legs or break a leg or lose their life. That wasn't that long ago. We're still in this. So speculating on life, speculating on our history helps me understand how hurt this world is and how I have to try to maneuver, but I still want to keep talking to spirit, like keep telling me more, tell me more, tell me more. And I hope that all of us that are psychic and medium 
keep talking and try and get more information about our lives in, on earth so that we can maneuver and live the best we can. Okay, so I hope you find this interesting. Thank you so much for listening.